Hi, welcome to Electromotive Force. Welcome back to our channel. I'm Jack. I'm in Sydney. I'm flying to Sydney, flying solo without cost of today. I'm at the AEVA Expo, uh, which is held for this weekend. Uh, I'm going to show you around. Good morning, I'm Clive Atwater. I'm the Acting National President of the Australian Electric Vehicle Association. And today we're having our EV Expo here in Sydney at the Sydney Olympic Park. It's the largest collection of electric vehicles that's probably been brought together in Australia to date. Uh, we've got a massive variety of cars, virtually all of the modern uh, uh, current model EVs are available. A lot of uh, conversions as well that our members have done. Uh, we've got information about charging, we've information about uh, solar, we've got two wheels and three wheels as well, and we've got a whole roster of speakers throughout the day, both Saturday and Sunday. But one of the key things about this whole event, we've got the opportunity to get in a car and drive it yourself. Um, we've got 40 vehicles on a roster, 15 on circuit at any given time, range of models, get in there, drive that car, come along as a passenger, not everyone's going to get a chance to be in the driver's seat. And all of this is possible due to our great sponsors. Nissan is our platinum sponsor, really made it possible. Charge Fox and Jet Charge and NRMA come in as gold sponsors. Thank you all. How are you going? Good mate, yourself? Good, good. Tell us about this little thing and what you're about. So we're from the University of Wollongong and we compete in what's called a Formula SAE competition. So there's over 600 teams worldwide that compete in this. A mixture of internal combustion and electric cars, we compete in the electric class. So we're from Wollongong and we build this fully electric race car. So just some quick specs on it. Um, we've got a peak power output of 80 kilowatts and the car only weighs about 220 kilos without a driver. So very powerful little thing. Good power to weight ratio. It's a very good power to weight ratio. Um, so 400 volts, 200 amps, uh, with 0 to 100 in about 3.2, 3.3 seconds. Yep. And um, corner it up to 2.3 lateral Gs. It's pretty nuts. Wow, that's great. Uh, so the kind of format that we race in is it's all time trial based. Obviously it's student built, student driven and student designed. As well as it's kind of like an EV time attack. Yeah, so like an EV time attack. So we've got the Australasian competition which happens in December. Um, so there's a whole bunch of us. There's around 30 universities that come and compete, half of them being from the electric field. Yep. Um, and so that's in a couple of weeks' time. So we'll be taking our car down there and trying to see what we can do. Thank you very much for your time. No worries, mate. Thank you.
How are you going guys? Let us know who you are and what you do. Alright, so I'm Damien from Viftech and this is Phil from EV Motorsport Australia. Uh, so this is the new vehicle we've just built for Hillfine. Um, so we're going to be running 450 kilowatts and about 450 kilos by the time we're done. A-arm suspension setup, yep. torsion bar, um, single mono shock, steering rack, it's all fairly straightforward. We're running motorbike calipers, motorbike uh, discs. Everything on the car is custom done. Inside the lovely stainless steel battery box here. So we're actually running the ability to put out 2,800 amps. So we have the 450 kilowatt EV West setup. So the motor's controlled by the EV control system from that we got from EV West, um, and that basically gives a full unlock on the motor. So um, you're the technical brains behind this. So who are you, and what do you do? I'm Phil. I started motor racing when I was 16. Uh, about 10 years ago I started competing in hill climb. Then about five years ago Damien helped me convert my Group 2C sports car to full electric. We took all the traditional running gear out of the Group 2C car and replaced it with uh, a couple of AC50 motors and Curtis controllers and uh, a lot of uh, little 18650 cells. Uh, recently we had a, a run around Wakefield Park and uh, we're actually a uh, second or so quicker than the uh, GT3 Porsches that were running that day. That's a great, that's a great result. But now uh, we want to go faster, significantly faster, hence the reason for building this vehicle. Uh, and with Damien's help and his electrical expertise, uh, I think we're, we're making a pretty good start on a a much higher performance level in the vehicle. So how do we get you? How do we find you? Well, I just started a, a web page called EV Motorsport Australia. You can contact Damien through Drift Tech Electric Racing. Uh, yeah. He's got Drift Tech on Facebook is the easiest way to find yeah. uh, And Bruno, yeah. yeah. Uh, just, just putting it out there, Bruno. Now you have to because now, <laughs> now it's on the web. So talk to me. Who are you and what's this all about? Alright, so what Morpho. It sounds a bit funny if you're Mexican-American. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it's an electromotive force, similar to your channel. So yeah, we actually started with a race car. Started with a DeLorean, electric DeLorean. Yep. And then eventually went to this radical, super fast car. Looks fantastic. And then the petrol guys didn't like it. The first race started like smashing them, and then they got a bit angry. They, they didn't like it. And then they changed the rules and made it pretty much like a impractical for electric guys, uh, electric cars around there. So but what yeah. is this? So then the business is actually like a solar power business and electric vehicle business, same owner, different companies. Batteries, so this is the, oh, more for batteries. So the air cool modules, empty at the fantastic. moment, <laughs> otherwise I'll be the strongest man on the planet. So I love the design, is, they look really yeah, good. Yeah, awesome. Custom this design. Is, yeah, CNC. <laughs> yeah. So this big module here is 41 kilos with the most popular configuration so 53 amp hour times two so it's 106 amp hour capacity 52 volts module that's amazing in that's in that small package yeah for the small package a modular you know and really high power you can pull like a you can pick thousand amps so there's some specs there but like 600 amps so what's this motorbike so the motorbike is a grandma motorcycle <laughs> So this motorcycle here is basically, so if you see the specs here, 40 kilowatts, it's not like a super powerful for motorcycle, but, but, seven gears, no, six gears, yeah, six speed, so, it's, so you have a mechanical gearbox, so you can get a smaller motor, a smaller battery, keep everything light, and you still have gears for like amazing acceleration and amazing top speed. At the moment, we're like we're not really racing this. We're not really racing the electric car. It's more like demonstrations because you need to have like a equal things to race together. Yeah. You know, like so yeah. that car it needs to have something similar to race because it's got enough downforce to like it puts yes. a V8 supercars on like nothing. Fantastic. Yeah. Awesome. All right, thank you very much for your time. Oh, cool, cool. This thing's fast. <laughs> Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Uh, in editing this episode, there was just way too much footage for me to leave out. So what I'm gonna do is 
put a bunch of other episodes together, a lot smaller ones with special builds, special providers, uh, really interesting stories. So stay tuned, thanks for watching, and uh, let us know what you think uh, in the comments.